Hello, welcome back to Gandalf Sushi Live Noting. In this video, we're gonna take inspiration from the Danish lamp design. Um, actually, I, I'm thinking to do something like this at some point, but this is uh, not what we are going to do uh, today. Um, I think something like this is more like what I'm thinking to create. Um, if you look at uh, the Danish design, like this this guy, for, for example, right here, it's, it's a it's almost like a very, very much procedural kind of thinking. You can practically use like a like a cylinder and make some kind of modifications. This thing is a little bit more rounded, but that's uh, something we can take care of at some point. But you know, this is, you know, like a cone. Can we create a cone? Yes. Can we create like a multiple cone? Um, of course, um, using spread chalk add-on, uh, it's pretty much easy. So let's save this real quick. This is uh, going to be SV Danish lamp 001. There's a lot of Danish lamp, but in this case, it's the, the one that looks like a cylinder. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. It's actually more like a very minimalistic, um, very minimalistic kind of uh, flower. Uh, we don't need the cap, so this is just a normal cylinder. We know that we can easily do that and we get like something that looks like a lamp to make this into a danish lamp maybe we need to just use a range of number like a try range float and plug this for the bottom part and right away you can see we are starting to get somewhere uh it's probably easier than i thought but That's kind of uh, the design right there. It's um, we know that that's like a multiple objects, um, and the top bit actually uh, kind of the same radius, so it uh, doesn't have any difference. We can of course work on the top uh, part as well, and then kind of adjust it to our need. And. Yeah, something like that seems pretty cool, and the height actually matters as well, not just the not just the radius. So the height also something that we can tweak, tweak and tune. Okay, um, let's see if we kind of switch this around. Uh, no, one and two. Try that. Um, the number actually needs to be matching. So integer. Five should be matching this uh, the count of this range. So that's the count and the height we can adjust. Probably, probably with the with the height we can kind of use line as well. And make it like in the Z directions and set the number of vertices to five, and we started to see the result. <clears throat> so at this point, we can still tweak the design. It's almost like um, almost like an umbrella, but like multiple umbrella. This guy actually, if we we are using like a grid, some kind of grid matrix. Um, let's say vector. Let's try a matrix of 3 by 3 by 3, 27, and just make this like 27. Maybe we can see more clearly what's going on. So, this is what we get right away. I thought this is pretty cool. I saw the design by um, like a Dutch designer. He made this uh, like some kind of glass or bowl using this kind of a design pattern so here you can kind of adjust the, the height as well <clears throat> so we get like uh, all the variations everything in one go 5 by 5 by 5 let's say we make like 200, 125 kind of design um, this way it's kind of cool as well to see this like that so this was uh, something that's originally, I think, 
uh, I was looking at the the Danish lime. I, I thought that's actually perfect for stretch of study. Um, yeah, like this guy right here. Actually, this one kind of interesting as well. That's also very mathematics. It's very very minimalistic. I know, um, but also very modern. Um, that's the like looks like a Pixar lamb. This is also something you can do procedurally. All kind of uh, Danish lamp design. I think to make the lamp a little bit more interesting, we get we need to have some kind of curving happening. Probably I'll do that at some point. Uh, with the lamp, really you can design it uh, in many different ways. Maybe even using the grease pencil method. So anyway, back to lamp. Instead of using the vector p, we can go back to our line and reduce the number to manageable number five. So that's the lamp right there. It's more like that, and then we can tweak the, the height this way. I think. Yeah, I think that's a more correct looks like a Danish kind of lamp reduce the number tweak the this a little bit so I think it's getting there we can still adjust the number of vertices <clears throat> very cool very simplistic some people like it some people think it's too modern Yeah, I think that there you go. That's a like a quick Danish lamp kind of design. Um, I don't know. If, imagine if we can just print it out. Um, probably it's gonna be like a cool design. Not too bad. You know, you can add solidify to it and add a proper lamp. Um, like I said, maybe adding some kind of rounding rounding to this uh, cylinder will make it a little bit more interesting. Maybe that's something that we can just tweak for the next live noting. But there you go, just a quick exercise in Spreadcho using a single node cylinder and just like a multiple iterations, like a multiple list of numbers, we can create this kind of pretty cool uh, kind of complex design. And everything is tweakable. Uh, imagine you can even like separate each of the every phase and then kind of extrude it differently at some kind of randomizations you might end up something like like this guy right here this guy and the cone the one that looks like a cone is actually kind of interesting for me like this guy like a like a fish scale that's pretty cool uh, we can try that at some point making some kind of fish scale so it's not like a grid it's more like a overlapping kind of layering uh, where was it this guy or no the pine it looks like a pine cone anyway so yeah maybe this is for the next one um, so there you go that's uh, how you might want to create a Danish lamp design using uh, blender uh, and spread chalk add-on. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.